Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and today we're taking a look at the WordPress Post Table Pro plugin. First, I'll show you some cool use cases for it, and then I'll show you how to set it up using our new table generator. So stay tuned for that. But if you're not sure what I'm referring to, Post Table Pro is the perfect plugin for generating organized and searchable tables to list all of your posts, pages, or literally any other custom post type that you want. It could be audio, video, documents, lists of personnel, and many, many more things beyond that. To be more specific, here are some of the most common use cases that our customers are already using Post Table Pro to accomplish. You can create a member or staff directory. Post Table Pro is ideal for creating a searchable directory of your organization's members and or staff. It's also ideal for creating a WordPress audio and video gallery. You can add videos in a sortable table with extra information and embedded audio players. This also extends to my personal favorite use case, which is to make a podcast directory. Post Table Pro is also excellent as a WordPress ebook library plugin. It lists your digital ebooks in a searchable table with filters. And if you need even more inspiration from the WordPress community, we have a plugin showcase on our website where you can see what other customers are using Post Table Pro for on their own websites. I'll make sure it's linked in the description so you can check that out too. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up on your site. The first step, of course, is to install and activate the plugin. You can find it with the first link in the description of this video. And after purchasing, you can download the zip file from either the checkout confirmation, the email confirmation that we would have sent you, or by logging into your account on barn2.com. Next, log into your WordPress site and navigate to plugins, add new, then we'll click the upload plugin button, choose the zip file or drop it here, click open and finally click install. Now, once installed, we'll launch the setup wizard from the settings page and you'll be prompted to enter your license key. You can find it in your receipt email or by logging into your account on our website. Once that's ready, we can start creating our very first table using the table generator here in the setup wizard or by clicking on post tables, add new. It's basically the same steps. So the second step here, we're gonna start creating our table and we need to choose a name. Now, this is just for internal purposes, so it's not super important. Actually, I'm gonna make my table name just all posts. I'm not gonna sort too much, I'm just gonna basically have all my posts that I've ever made going into this table. You'll also need to select the post type you want to display. If you don't have a content type yet, you can easily create one using the free Easy Post Types and Fields plugin, also from Barn2. I'll make sure to also link that plugin in the description of this video. And so we're gonna select the content type being posts, but you have options for other types of content such as pages, media, products, and WordPress forms, etc. So let's keep that as posts. Now I could select specific posts and sort them by category, for example, business articles, but uh, I'm not going to do that for simplicity's sake. I will choose all posts. But if I wanted to, I could even go down to the individual post and choose just the individual posts that I want. Now here we have table columns. If I want to add a column, for example, I could add a button and I can even change the text on this button for the column to say view. Now the button will come up on the right hand side of the table and I'll make sure that the text reads view on the button so that uh, people can view the content. If I wanted to, for example, I could also add the image of the post and I might add that to the first column on the left, but I won't do that uh, right now because I think that'll be too many columns for the table. Let's go next. Number five is filters. How will people be able to filter the content? I'm going to show based on the columns in the table. So that's based on these columns here. If I prefer, I can also make them custom. So I can choose either categories, tags, formats, 
or I can add them all if I want. But let's show based on columns in the table. In step six, we can improve the loading time of the table by choosing lazy load. However, there are some implications to enabling the lazy load feature, which you should be aware of. So you can read more about that in our knowledge base, which is also linked below. In my case, I, I don't have that many posts, so I'm going to uncheck this. For sorting, I would like to sort the posts by the date published with the newest first. And that's it for the setup wizard. Now let's see what we've created on our site. All right, our table has been created and I can copy and paste this onto a page where it'll list all of our posts. So let's go to pages, all pages, and let's add a new one. Let's give it a name, all posts, and let's paste. Now the other option you have is to add a block, search for post table, and select the table that you just created. Now I'm not going to keep that because it would be a little bit too confusing to have two of them on the same page. Now let's publish that. And let's view that page. All right, so here's our table as we've created it so far. You can see that the content is probably not the best column to have first. I would prefer that to be the title. And I might add a few different columns as well, including a link to each of the posts. And also I would like to add the categories filter up the top. But in order to do that, I also need to add categories as a column in the table. So let's go ahead and make those changes now. From your WordPress dashboard, you can click on post tables, tables, choose the one that you want to work on. And here is where we can modify our columns. So like I said, I don't like that content column. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to choose a new column. I want to add categories because that will allow me to add a filter for categories. I also want to add the publishing date. And the last thing I'm going to add is a button. And this button is going to work as a link to each of the posts. So I'm going to edit that text and change it to link. Done. I'm just going to reorder these a little bit so they look a bit better for me. And for filters, we can show based on columns in the table, which will give us a filter for categories. Okay, let's save those changes and reload the table to see what's been updated. So here's our table with all those changes applied. We have the categories drop down filter. And we've added the publishing date, moved the title over to the left, and added a link to view each post. So that's been an introduction and basic tutorial for the Post Table Pro plugin. Make sure to test everything and see that the settings are working perfectly for the setup that you want. And if you need a little more help with that, you can refer to our knowledge base, which I mentioned is linked below, or you can reach out to our great support team. Everything you need is on our website and remember to purchase the plugin. Just need to hit that first link in the description or go to barn2.com. One thing I didn't mention yet is that many people use this plugin to create a document library, which is totally doable. But if that's your goal, I'd like to recommend the document library pro plugin, which we made for this very purpose. To learn more about that plugin, you can watch this video next and thanks for watching.